Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys, hit that subscribe button now. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. Prince Andrew is threatened King Charles III might strip royal titles off his daughters. Royal experts believes the new monarch would take Princess Moniker from both Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice amid his slimmed-down monarchy plans. Andrew's fears were heightened after he and his daughters were excluded from the balcony appearance during Queen Elizabeth's second Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Daily Mail reported, Andrew was angrily telling a senior figure how he and others in the family are being pushed to the margins of royal life. It added that Andrew was worried about his daughters being pushed to the periphery of the royal family. Andrew knew it was Charles who was effectively running the show. The report then claimed, Andrew was angrily telling a senior figure how he and others in the family are being pushed to the margins of royal life. It added that Andrew was worried about his daughters being pushed to the periphery of the royal family. Andrew reportedly blamed Charles because the then Prince of Wales was effectively running the show. A senior royal figure was quoted as saying, The idea was very simple, really. Charles was to be allowed to begin to initiate some of the changes in style he would want when he becomes king. But a friend of the Duke of York responded, The speed and suddenness with which Charles has acted has taken Andrew's breath away. It's dreadfully high-handed. Much has been made about the relationship between the brothers, and reports in September indicated that tension still remains. According to royal biographer Angela Levin, Andrew lobbied hard to ensure Charles would not become king, hoping that Prince William would instead take the throne. In her book, titled Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, from outcast to queen consort, Ms. Levin writes that when Diana was alive, through her friendship with Andrew's wife Sarah, Duchess of York. She plotted with Andrew to try to push Prince Charles aside so Prince Andrew could become regent to Prince William, who was then a teenager. They were dark and strange times where paranoia became reality, and this was a worry. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you think King Charles did a great job by excluding hideous Andrew as first step of slim down monarchy? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.